What's up y'all? Welcome to Alec Grills. Welcome back to the workshop everyone. It is fantastic to have you here because springtime, despite the odd fluttering of snow, is certainly approaching, which means that summertime is coming around the corner. Sounds like good eating to me. And so today is gonna be all about just that, some good eating. We've got some food here. This is a tri-tip roast. But before we get into doing that and making ourselves some barbecue tools in the forge. I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Audible. Audible is an audiobook platform with an insane number of phenomenal audiobooks that you can use to help grow and learn as well as using to help entertain yourself while you're out and about, while you're driving, or while it is that you're getting some good work done, or should I say, while it is that you're grilling too. Yes, indeed. My favorite thing about Audible is when you have a membership, you get one free audiobook credit per month. That's good for any audiobook. That's unbelievable. It makes it very cost effective to listen to all the great audiobooks you want. And when you go to audible.com forward slash forge, you're going to get yourself a one free month trial, which is going to get you a free audiobook, two free Audible originals from a curated list. You can also text forge to 500 500 to get that deal. Great deal. Thank you, Audible, for sponsoring the video. Let's get this beef seasoned and ready to put on the grill. So we have two great things hot. We've got ourselves a barbecue hot, we've got the forge hot, and it is time to heat and beat some steel. What are you gonna work on, Will? I'm going to forge out a pair of spring barbecue tongs. So it'll be just a very simple U shape with some spikes on one end for grabbing pieces of meat and vegetables and things on the grill. I'm gonna forge it out of this 4340 round stock. Very nice, so that should have a little extra spring to it, and actually, probably a little bit of extra corrosion resistance. Nice. Just luck of the draw that that's the case. Why, well, he works on that. I think I'm gonna make a spatula. I think we need a good thin spatula. That copper spatula, the SpongeBob SquarePants spatula, it's about four inches thick. No, it's not, <laughs> it's like a quarter inch thick. Way too thick for actually spatulating things. So I'm gonna forge one of those out. It is sure to be a good time. And uh, I think we're probably gonna spend a lot of time staring at that tri-tip as it cooks. Yes, indeed. It's at 180 degrees. It's now nine o'clock in the morning. We're just gonna let it sit nice and low, low and slow. For the next three hours. And, and then we'll eat. <laughs> So Will went with a piece of 4340. For my spatula, I'm only gonna need to go with a piece of mild steel. I don't think I need to go over the top. I'm gonna go with a piece of half inch square, which I, oh, I don't think I have a piece of half inch square. That wasn't a half inch square. Three eighths, three eighths, five eighths. Well, round stock it'll have to be. This should do the trick. Five eighths round, time to draw this puppy out. This is a fun exercise in hand forging. I'm trying to forge out a very long taper. This is gonna end up stretching out a good long ways and it's gonna be very thin. But instead of roughing in the whole thing, I'm actually just doing a little bit and then I'm rounding it out and finishing it. Here I'm gonna do a little more, round it out and finish it. What that means is that we're gonna keep all this mass up here hot. It's gonna keep feeding heat into the piece while we do round out each little section periodically. And it's a good way to forge a taper. Again, these are techniques that I learned way back when with Brian Brazil, just learning how to forge tong reins. It's nice to apply it in pieces like this. Roughing it in and rounding it out. That's how we're making the progress. Let's have a look at what Will is doing on his set of tongs. So now I've started the isolation on either side of the tongs and I've started to draw that point, so we'll be able to forge those out into the spiky, grabby ends, and then I'm now gonna thin out on the power hammer the middle part of it, 
where the spring's gonna be and where the main part of the rains are gonna be. Good. Okay, so I'm starting to dry out these reins here, get them a little bit thinner before we start forging out the spring area, which most of the spring should be in the very bottom of the U shape of these little barbecue tongs. So I'm starting to dry out these reins, get them longer so you're not gonna burn yourself as you're using them. So we're about done on the power hammer now. Now what I need to do is isolate and forge down those little tines on the end and the spring area in the center. Uh, and I'll do that in the next couple of heats here to finish it off. But for now, we're gonna see what Alec is up to. Holy moly, that beef is looking good over here. I've been making some good progress. I've got the length of my spatula forged out. We got a little thicker here. It's now time to forge that spatula end. Change of plans, change my mind, what I'm actually gonna do. Instead of forging out the spatula end right now, I'm gonna flip it around and forge out a little hook on the back so we can hang it on some stuff. Hey Will, are you getting hungry? So you've got it totally forged out at this point. I'm just gonna go ahead, clean up these little bits on the end, and then uh, grind in a couple teeth on it so it can grab the, the meat a little bit better. Okay, so we're nearing lunchtime. I finished up my little barbecue tongs. Alec is still working on the spatula. I just turned this up uh, a little bit higher heat. We're hopefully gonna get a nice rind around the outside of the roast at that point. And then I'm gonna start prepping the veggies to throw on the grill so that they're ready for lunchtime. done, now it's onto the spatula end.
Okay, the roast is done. Oh, we've got some flame down there. That looks unbelievable. Oh, that looks unbelievable. Holy smoke. There we go. We're gonna let that set for about 10 minutes while the rest of everything gets all uh, gets all charred up and nice and cooked, well done. This looks insane. This is unbelievable. Hey, those tongs are working a treat. Yeah, these work great. So our internal temperature is at about 135, 140, depending on where in the roast it is. And that is just right, like a high, medium, rare. Oh, Woo! that's gonna be good. Okay, here we go, check this out, Will. Oh. Gave it a little light touch on the grinder, but that is... That is beautiful, it's so thin. Feel how light that is. It doesn't, we need to weigh this down, otherwise it's just gonna float away. Doesn't that look nice? That looks amazing. I have a nice, strong transition into that flat blade. It's all strong, there are no stress fractures in here, which is a really difficult thing to do. That's all about just planning out the forging steps. It feels so good. You know, it, one of the nice things about making tools is making them in such a way that they feel Light, nimble, agile. You could really slap somebody with that. You got any vegetables that need flipping? You know what? I do. Okie dokie, this is a moment of truth. Let's give it a go. Mmm. That is some unbelievable beef. Mm. That hits the spot. Right. Is that mm. a saying? Yep. Holy moly, that was some good eating. Super exciting to have a barbecue here and cook some great food. Ton of fun, great fun to do some hand forging too. As we round out this video on that delicious note, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, which is Audible, the audiobook platform that just has the largest collection of audiobooks of anywhere that you can listen to on the go, whether it's on your phone, on your computer, wherever. Audible has you covered. The book I'm reading now is Jedediah Smith, No Ordinary Mountain Man. Here in southwest Montana, here in the Rockies, you know, it's a relatively new part of the world, but there is still a uh, pretty fascinating in, in, in many respects, history, and much of that is really captivated in the word the mountain man, the fur trappers that were coming up in the Rockies to get beaver pelts and things like that, and they had to brace this wilderness and these mountains and these harsh environments, and they made their living that way. It's pretty interesting stuff. Now, the great thing is, getting that book only cost me one credit, which you get after every month of membership. You can also buy extra credits, too. It makes buying audiobooks extremely inexpensive. It's really worth doing, especially when you go to my link in the description, Audible dot com forward slash forge because when you do that you're gonna be getting a one month free trial of audible that includes one free audiobook two free audible originals from a curated list just fantastic be sure to check it out you can also text forge to 500 500 to get yourself in on that deal and start listening to some great audiobooks thank you guys so much for watching it's been a pleasure as always bringing you along with this journey a ton of fun and uh, we have been eating well today that is for sure can't wait to see you on the next episode bye bye